Check out FlipSideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Use the promo code HEROES to save 10% on all orders over $10. Right now, Ultimate Masters Booster Boxes are available at the fantastic price of $270 when you use this promo code. And shipping is free on this and any order over $100. Check out the description below for more details. there this is john from heroes and legends and i got a box of ultimate masters to open up today i'm really excited about this very expensive product but there's a lot of value currently in the box as the weeks go on i'm sure some of that value will decline of course but at least right now cards are still worth quite a bit now i get the question a lot if i'm going to buy a box should i open it well short answer is first off make sure you're buying the box for the right reasons I would only buy a box if I either want to play limited, and that's what I'm going to do with these. In fact, I'll be honest with you. If I didn't have the channel, I don't think I'd be buying a box of this. But I do want to play some draft or sealed with it. And if that's the case, maybe you can go in with some friends, and that will alleviate some of the some of the uh, cost of the box. And you could have a good time that way. Or if I'm a sealed product collector, it's a very interesting sealed product. It will become harder and harder to find over time. So I think those are the two people that would want to buy this for the most part. When it comes to building decks, I would just simply buy singles. All right, here's the box topper. We're going to save that to the end, of course. Now, I did hear that some of the box toppers were getting crushed because the products were shifting, which I could totally see that happening because these packs are all loose, as you can see there. So that's a little bit scary, but this one looks okay. Seems like it survived. So good news. We'll save that to the end. And wow, let's just get going with this box. This is going to be awesome. So... Let's start with Liliana here. And these are, if you're familiar with the Japanese print cards, this is what these feel like, or like Battle Bond. The packs are going to be a little like looser. The cardstock's different too. They're very slidey. They're like very glossy almost. You can see as I put it down on the table there. So uh, just so you know, also that means the rare in the foil, because all of these will have a foil, will be at the front. And we get a foil blast of genius. And our first rare is Urborg. Tomb of Yawgmoth. So, okay, that's a pretty good start. I'll just kind of flip slowly through the co uncommons and commons, a little faster through the commons so you can see them since this is a brand new set. And hopefully we'll get some good hits. So that's not a bad way to start things off. Only 24 packs, of course, in a box. But you get the extra foils in the box topper, so at least that's something. Value-wise, I mean, you can find these boxes, obviously, for a lot cheaper than retail. Our Seder Wayfinders, our foil, and Daybreak Coronet is our second rare. So if you can find these at a good price, then that's awesome. But 335 retail is very expensive. A lot of stores will sell these packs probably between $12 and $14 for a booster pack, which is pretty high. So <laughs> it doesn't make for a very cheap draft, that's for sure. Okay, pack number three. We get Hadama's Reach. Very good. Oh, Tarmogoy. Very nice mythic. Okay, our first mythic. And that's a good one. I mean, Tarmogoy's going for around $50 at the time of recording anyway. It will come down some more. It's got some brand new art. So that's actually an awesome poll. Very excited for that. That's fantastic. I'll let you take a closer look there. All right. And we got some uncommons. There's a magma. All right. So on and so forth. So, all right. First mythic was pretty good. That's the third most valuable mythic currently in the set. Liliana and Karn, of course, being the highest. All right, so our next pack. What's happening here? Oh, Foil Mythic. Okay, it's Balefire Dragon, which is maybe one of the least exciting mythics out of the group. But at least it's Foil. we got a Foil Mythic and not a Foil Rare here. So I'll take it. it looks kind of cool, actually, with the Foiling. Foiling process looks nice. And another Mythic. Two Mythic pack with Caracas. That's awesome. Love this card. Love it. it. Of course, got reprinted in Eternal Masters. It was from Legends originally. But awesome pull there. Okay, so that's like three mythics out of what? What was that? Four packs or something we're up to so far? Okay, that's pretty awesome. So hopefully they keep coming. We might get them out of the way early, I suppose. Getting a foil mythic, though, is not guaranteed many times. It seems like a lot of these boxes you get two foil rares slash mythic rares. So we might still get another foil rare, perhaps. We'll see. So... Hopefully, if that's the case, we'll get something good, but I'll take what we got. Okay, we have Aether Snipe Foil, which looks actually kind of cool. And Kozilek Butcher of Truth is another mythic. Holy cow. Okay, so this is getting crazy now. It's like every pack we open is mythics. 
I'm not going to complain. That's another great pull. Really happy to see that, actually. And that's kind of cool. This will be an interesting pack for Drafter Seal to actually do. So, a lot of good red cards in there. All right. Go on to our next pack. I'm assuming this probably won't be a mythic. If it is, maybe we got an all-mythic box or something. All right, Seltai Skullkeeper is our foil. Glendalendron Archmage. It's a rare son of mythic. We've got a very, very good one. Really happy to see that. That's awesome. So, very good card. Awesome for, like, cubes. Love to, like, pick that in cubes early. When you know there's going to be a lot of non-creature spells. Okay. Starting to move along into this box. They go quick, these Master's Boxes. Oh, I saw the rare already. Well, our KO Mancer is our foil. And our rare is Disrupting Shoal. That's actually pretty sweet, too. I like this card a lot. I don't know where I would play it, actually. But I just like Counter Magic. And I don't think I ever owned one of those, actually. So that's kind of cool. I'll take it. It's hard to not feel like you're doing well when you open one of these boxes, right? Like, I'm sure... I mean, there are duds, right? There's some dud rares in here. <laughs> there's even some dud mythics. But, like, there's so many good cards in this set. We have Surge, uh, Songs of the Damned as our foil. And then Tulran Sky Summoners are rare. Okay, maybe that's one of the duds, right? <laughs> that's probably one of the worst value rares you can get. But it's just one pack. And when you start pulling things like Krakus and Kozilek, it doesn't really feel that bad, right? <laughs> so... That's what's, I think, pretty crazy about this set. All right, what do we get here? All right, Moan of the Unhallowed, and then Gorio's Vengeance. Very nice rare. See, that's exactly what I was talking about. Really good card. Another card I don't think I ever owned, actually. So that's kind of cool. I'd like to try that out. I'd like to just build a cube out of, like, the cards I get here. And maybe, like, if I, if I am able to get another box of this, I don't know yet. We'll see. If I can, I'll open it on the channel, but... I'll let you know what happens. All right, Shirai Shizo's Caretaker. This is another really, like, just interesting foil. Uncommon in this case, but interesting card. Sublime Archangel. That's kind of cool. It used to be a Mythic, so... All right, that's not bad. Not a bad pull there. Again, maybe not one of the best cards in the set necessarily, but not a bad one. And that's the thing. If you're not best card is Sublime Archangel, well, then you're probably in for some good pulls, right? <laughs> so... All right, we have Shielding Plaques as our foil, and Raging Ravine. Okay, it's not Celestial Colonnade, but the Grill one's pretty good. I mean, this one's decent. I'm not not sad to get that, actually. That's probably the second, the, the one you'd want to get, like, second most. Does he play in Jund? All right, we're starting to get down there now. I think we're getting close to the halfway point already. These boxes do go fast. Time flies. All right, Foil, Arena Athlete. Life from the Loam, another amazing rare. That's fantastic. I'll take that all day long. Yeah, if we can keep pulling cards like these, this is going to be an awesome box. Don't know if we'll hit any more Mythics after that start, but even if we don't, there's just so many good rares in here, so it's all right. I'm all right with that. All right. We got Beckon Apparition, and Fauna Shaman is our rare. Fauna Shaman is a lot of fun. It's, again, not one of the best rares in the set, probably, but... Again, not bad. Not a bad rare. Okay, next pack. So hopefully everyone who is opening these is having some luck with this set. We start off with a Death Denied foil. Eldrazi Conscription. That's actually a really sweet rare, too. Don't mind playing that. Awesome. We're a fantastic card, actually. Especially if you can cheat it into play. There's ways to do that in the set. If you saw the set review, we kind of talked about that. All right, our next pack. I think we're like right past the halfway point or so. I lost count now, but you know, even if we stopped here, I'd say it's a good box. That's a cool foil. Garner the Blood Flame. Okay. Lava Claw Reaches. Yeah, not very exciting when it comes to the Creature Land Cycle. One of the maybe least used ones, but okay. Like I said, there's a few duds in here, but <laughs> the other rares do make up for them pretty quickly. Okay, let's see. We got... Double cleave, and our rare is all. It all is dust. All right. You know, that's a good board sweep. I love the sacrifice effect there, so it gets around things like uh, regeneration and such, so that's pretty cool. All right, our next pack. Let's see. Our foil is a last gasp. Okay, that's fine. Oh, there it goes. And our rare is a creeping tar pit. 
Uh, maybe the third most desirable creature lands. Again, not the best rare in this pet particular set, but not bad. Buried Alive, that's a cool uncommon, so that makes up for a little bit. But yeah, that's actually not a bad card. That does see competitive play, too, from time to time. All right, our next pack. And we have a Furnace Celebration. And Through the Breach, very nice. All right, Through the Breach is another fantastic pull at Rare. I love the new art on that, too. That's kind of awesome. So very good, very good pack here. And it just keeps coming. I mean, it's like the hits in this in this box are amazing. Really excited about this. So glad I got a chance to kind of share this box opening with you because this is awesome. All right, Nightbird's Clutches. Raya Dawnbringer, okay, all right, not exciting in this set, but again, if you're saying Raya Dawnbringer is not exciting, you probably have a pretty packed set on your hands here. Kitchen Finks, nothing wrong with that for sure. So very good. Even the commons, there's like a lot of good common and uncommon foils you could get here. There's just a lot of value packed in this set. Like I've been saying, that value will go down as packs open, but still, there's a lot here. Oh, another foil, rare this time, not mythic, but Revelark. That's pretty sweet. That's an awesome looking foil, too, with that blue in the background. That looks awesome. And Phyrexian Tower. That's awesome. Okay, I'll take that. That's a great pack. Slippery Buggle. All right. Yeah. That's amazing. So we're starting to get down there, but I feel pretty good about this box. Like, I'm glad we got to open it. Like I said, I think it's hard to not feel good about this set, but... Verdant Eidolon is our foil to begin with. It actually looks really cool, too. I have to, like, look at that for a second. All right. And Pattern of Rebirth is our rare. The art on that looks kind of weird to me. It almost looks like there's this weird line going through it. I'm sure it's part of the art. Um, Burial Rites. That's a good uncommon. Love that card, too. So good for a limited play. You get that and whatever you reanimate in the graveyard. So you mill yourself or what have you to get there. And you have a pretty big turn, at least. All right, starting to get down there now. Maybe one more big, oh, foil buried alive. Okay, all right. Magus of the Bazaar, eh, all right. <laughs> Again, could be fun and limited, like if you get the mill strategy with Laboratory Maniac or something like that, but not a huge card financially. Uh, but again, you know, maybe we can get one more big pull. That would be cool to go out on something, something awesome. Oh, and that might be it, actually. I just saw it. Well, first, Tooting Mandrills is our foil. Back to basics. Awesome pull. Okay, maybe that's one of our last real big pulls. Fantastic reprint here. Trace Nielsen art. Look at that. That's awesome. So, real excited for that. There's Jen. All right. Sure. Wow, that was just kind of the cherry on top for me. I'm getting a lot of cards that I really wanted. A lot of cards I never actually owned, like, back in the day, even though I used to play during this time period, all the time periods. Oh, Martyr of Sands. That's a cool common foil. Vexing Devil. And that's it. All right, well, not bad, not bad. We still got a box topper, topper to look at, so I'm going to slow roll this a little bit. <laughs> we'll go ahead and open it up. Uh, while I'm doing this, I just want to say thank you to all the viewers, for the folks that ordered the boxes of Ultimate Masters or really anything through Flipside Gaming or Amazon. Really appreciate it. I can't tell you how far that goes for the channel, and it really allows us to make, first off, make videos, but also make better videos. You get better equipment and just gives me more time to make the videos too, as opposed to writing and doing what I do for my day job. So anyway, thank you all. I'm glad we got to do this and kind of chat a little bit and have a good time. But I think it's time to see what this card is. All right. Without any further ado, are you ready? <laughs> all right. I slow, slow rolled this long enough. Wow. Dark depths. Okay. That's super sweet. First off, it looks incredible. The foil is not from the vault. I thought it was going to be like from the vault foiling. But this is just regular foiling, so I'm happy to see that. And I'm happy to see Dark Depths. I mean, this is about a $130 card right now. That's phenomenal. So there's a lot of cards you don't want to see come out of that box topper pack. This is not one of them. This is an awesome pull. Really happy with this box. All right. Well, thank you again for all your support when it comes to the channel. Thank you for joining this box with me and having a good time and just chatting. Until next time, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible through the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos on Heroes and Legends. 
Talk to you again soon and have a great day.